Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade your mechanical drive to a solid state drive for your Acer mini laptop. This one is an Acer Aspire V5 model and this applies for any V5 series mini laptop. And the process is really simple and easy to do. And all you need to do, get yourself a new SSD drive uh, SATA 2.5 inch, they're all the same profile. I recommend you guys to get the Kings, I mean the Samsung model, the Kingston and the 88 models are their low grade SSDs, but they still work, but not as good as durability wise from Samsung. I'll leave the link in the video description if you want to get one. Also, you will need a screwdriver set. I'll use the iFixit screwdriver set, and we're going to be using Phillips number one. I like this screwdriver set because the bits are made out of S2 class steel. That means they're really tough enough. And once you have these two tools ready, also remember once you replace the hard drive to a new SSD drive, you turn on the laptop, you're not going to have any operating system. It's going to tell you there's no boot drive. That means there's no Windows installed in here. I made another video how to create your own USB drive. Yeah, I mean, how to burn your Windows to the into the USB drive. And once you get the, your USB burned and ready to go on the USB drive, once you upgrade this one, you just plug this one in here and turn it on, press F12, and then you're going to boot through the USB and install your Windows. It will take about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, let's get to it. First thing first, you want to turn on upside down. You don't need to remove the battery at all. Leave it the way it is. To remove the bottom cover, just remove the tiny screw right in front of the laptop. And now all you need to do is grab the cover and slide it to the front end of the laptop and you're going to see a separation of the about half a centimeter right there. And then you want to grab the cover and lift it up. That's the service cover right there. The hard drive is right over here. The hard drive is being held down by a caddy, a plate, metal plate. And this metal plate is being screwed right here, two screws. So go ahead and remove these two, two screws. There we go. Once you remove it, and now you can slide it, grab this uh, handle, the plastic handle, tape handle, and slide it towards wherever you remove the screws. And lift up the front and slide it out. This is a 500 gigabyte Western Digital Drive. To remove the caddy, there's one screw right there and one screw on the other side. All you need to do, make sure you put the orientation of the drive. You see the SATA connector and the power right there? You want to have it in the same position. You don't want to put this one the other way around. So go ahead and uh, swipe the caddy right here. All right. We're going to remove the caddy, put it the hard drive. Bring the new one in and just square it in there. Now what you want to do right now, just grab the hard drive, place this back side down in there first, and then bring it down and then slide it towards the connector and all the way in. And then you can go ahead and put the two screws. And then go ahead and grab the top cover, bring it over. All right, once you put the cover in here, all you need to do is slide it back towards the battery and put the tiny screw in the front end of the laptop. Now, all you need to do is to power on the laptop and I already replaced the LCD and I haven't ripped this apart. So grab the charger. Plug it in here, grab your USB, put it right through, and when you power on, keep tapping F12 or F2, I believe it's F12. Now F2 takes you to the BIOS, so you can go to the boot menu, and it says legacy, and you want to choose your USB drive and move the USB up to the priority one. So move the USB by F5 or F6. 
So move the USB all the way up and exit and save changes. So right now it's going to boot and it's going to read the USB drive. And it's going to tell you boot up to the Windows. So there we go. Now it's going to go through the whole process of installation Windows. I'm going to make a video how to properly install it in this laptop. So check my link in the video description. So keep this video short. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to upgrade your mechanical drive to an SSD drive. If you have any question or request, please feel free to leave them in the video comment and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.